Hello and welcome to Overcoming the Three Critical Mobile EMV Payment Challenges. Today hosted by MagTech. This virtual recorded event uh, was recorded on July 29th at 1 p.m. Um, I am your host, Rebecca Robinson, the marketing manager here at MagTech, and I will be joined by my colleague here, Chris Brown, our communications specialist. We will be going over an executive summary just to kind of give everybody a background of everything with MagTech and Magenza. We'll be discussing what is the complexity of adding EMV and mobile solutions to your payment offering. We'll be discussing cost overviews, certification overviews, and then doing a quick wrap up and summary. So one of the big things to just talk about, if nothing else, is this year has been a year of disruption. It has forced many businesses to reevaluate how they accept payments, where they accept payments, and how payments are handled. Adding mobility and EMV security to your point of sale has become more critical than ever. Today, as we'll be going over the uh, for the next 15 minutes, um, we will discuss how you can add and match this need of uh, mobility with EMV without uh, lost security and overcome those three key challenges of complexity, cost, and certification um, so, so that you have a successful mobile EMV solution. Uh, MagTech and Magenta Data Management Services deliver the solutions you need to create a competitive solution to keep you ahead in the marketplace. And now, it is the perfect time to upgrade your point of sale applications. We will start with complexity, where we will review hardware, payment applications, and data security. Uh, okay, so as Rebecca mentioned, there's been a much disruption in payments this last year and a half. Uh, and in, in that year and a half, the value of mobile EMV, uh, to, EMV payments to merchants has become very clear. So merchants are discovering that adding mobile EMV is complex. So the question is what makes adding mobile EMV so complex? Right, because you would think I do MagStripe, why is EMV adding that so much harder? Well, there are several key components that you will need to bring to add mobility and EMV acceptance uh, to your payment platform. There's new hardware that includes EMV acceptance capability and possibly NFC as well. Uh, there are updates you'll need to make to the payment application to accept the data and commands to direct that data to the necessary endpoints. And this includes um, full preparation and enrollment and data security from the point of interaction in the app and in transit. Okay. Okay, so MagStripe wasn't designed to be terribly secure. We understand that, but it's still a card, just like EMV chip cards. Um, what makes EMV more challenging than MagStripe? Right. So MagStripe cards were never created for security. They were solely created for speed and convenience. Transactions became faster by reading the card's magnetic stripe. EMV adds a layer of protection with one-time token generation to validate that the card is not counterfeit. And this has uh, been proven to greatly reduce uh, fraud in the industry uh, today with the card present transactions. An EMV chip card is a microprocessor. So you can imagine that right there, there's just so much more data on the card itself. Um, there's data and tags, and these tags all need to be told where and what needs to go everywhere. The added effort is in writing the application that tests and directs each of these tags which can be several hundred, depending on how many card brands and card types that you accept. Okay, Okay. so you have EMV figured out, but you're using the same payment method, an EMV card. Uh, what makes mobility more challenging than a standard countertop terminal? Right, so EMV adds its own level of complication, adding mobility adds another level. Countertop terminals typically have set applications, communications, and capabilities. Securing mobile devices that are literally meant for people to walk off with and walk around with can be challenging to secure. Not only are you beholden to the operating system updates and malware defenses, there is the simple possibility of someone walking off with your point of sale. A few points of best practice. 
real quick. Make certain that the car data never exists in the clear on your mobile device. Make sure it is secure. Secure your devices and use enterprise distributed devices. It is best practiced to not use BYOD, bring your own devices. You don't want to use your employees' devices because you're just not sure how you can manage them. And if they decide to leave, they take your point of sale with them. There's just a litany of issues with this one. So being able to just maintain enterprise distributed devices just makes it a lot easier for your asset management plan. Okay. Okay, so there's a, obviously a number of differences between a mobile EMV and a mag stripe at the counter, more challenges. Um, but what is the result of these added complexities? As you can imagine, these added complexities add cost and time. There's also an added level of certifications and compliance that need to happen for a solution to meet PCI compliance and operate fully in a secure environment. Okay, so you've identified the complexities of EMV Mobile, which is great, but um, MagTech has experience and expertise in payments. What can MagTech do to reduce the complexity? Right, and we'll discuss this throughout the presentation, but basically we reduce that cost and the time that it takes to get to market. Using our services, we have had customers report that they have saved over a million dollars in a year using our services. Um, and we have some customers that'll start using our certifications or services, a gateway, and they might um, transition over to getting their own applications and certifications um, later, but using ours enables them to get started faster. Um, sometimes they simply choose to stay with us uh, due to the overall savings that they can project. Um, we're gonna start first with uh, how MagTech helps uh, counter the challenges of cost. Uh, we'll discuss hardware, certification, and uh, time to market. Okay. Well, obviously, any payment solution has a cost, but regarding EMV Mobile, what are the cost challenges? Right. So merchants usually are citing the costs of the actual hardware devices, um, whereas ISVs usually talk about applications and certifications and time to market, right? So although an EMV um, device with added EMV and NFC will cost you more, the actual cost savings in reduced fraud uh, pays for itself right there. Um, so typically um, you can see that return on investment right away for the added hardware cost. Certification costs can be expensive and that is why it's best to partner with uh, companies that have already done a lot of the heavy lifting for you. Um, with MagTech's Magenta Data Management Services, um, we have already established L3 certifications to most major processors in the US. Um, and once your system under test is verified and certified, you can swap out any of the components as you need. This is a huge cost savings and time savings. Basically what this means is, is if you create an application that connects with a mobile smart device uh, with connected EMV hardware peripheral, you can move that peripheral around and move around the HTML application. So you can go from an iOS device to an Android device to a Windows device. You can decide to connect that hardware peripheral via Bluetooth LE or USB or wireless and not need to recertify the system under test. Again, you can take all those components that are in that system under test and mix and match as you need to. This saves ISVs huge amount of time and money and gives them much greater flexibility and transferability between clients. They can create an application that's basically skinned for a spa and then take that same application, reskin it and set it up for a restaurant if they need to. So it gives them that added, um, that added cost savings. Okay. Well, because it requires new hardware and certifications add up, is updating to mobile and EMV worth it? The short answer is yes. The reason the industry is moving to EMV chip is to improve security and secure the brand experience. The chip has a one-time code that is generated when it is read, thus verifying the validity of the card. 
and protecting the business from bank initiated chargebacks. Counterfeit fraud experienced by US chip enabled sellers decreased 80% from 2016 to 2019. To keep up with competition and meet your con consumer expectations, EMV chip card acceptance is going to become necessary. The United States, China, and India are the key growth markets for EMV chip acceptance. And between 2015 and 2021, there was a 55% increase in the number of chip card payment transactions performed. And that number is only going to continue to grow. Okay, well, just because EMV acceptance is going up, I mean, does that mean it'll stick around because it's still kind of new? I mean, where does where does the marketplace stand? Right. So there was over 17% chip acceptance growth rate in the mobile POS terminal market between 2016 and 2020. And the big push for all of this is cyber attacks. Cyber attacks are on the rise. So it is more important than ever to make sure that you are securing the data and that the data that is secured in the device, leaving the device and to wherever it ends up going, right? There is more to consider when you are planning a mobile point of sale option. You need to consider what mobile devices and operating systems you will be using. And uh, MagTech Secure Card Reader Authenticators, they provide the assurance that the data being entered into the mobile device is secured. It's already encrypted. It's encrypted inside of the reader, not in the software that is loaded onto the mobile device. Okay, so, but part of the cost is securing the data. But why is it so critical to secure account data? Right. So, of course, we have to secure account data because that's account data and we don't want bad actors getting their hands on it. Um, but cyber attacks are on the rise. So, it is more important than ever to secure that data. And again, that's the data that goes from the device residing in the device and the data that goes outside of the device as well. Um, so really what you need to do is just make sure that that account data is secured at the point of interaction, first point of interaction. That way the onus of putting um, encryption isn't on the application itself. Okay, so you encrypt the data inside the reader before it hits the application and that helps with security, that makes sense. But why does that matter? Right, so if the data is entered into a card reader, reader and then the data leaves the card reader and goes into the mobile device in the clear, you are open to a host of malware, man in the middle and eavesdropping attacks. Next, you need to secure the data that is on the mobile device itself. Now, if the data is already encrypted when it goes from the reader, into the software application, there's no critical data in the clear on the device. So not even um, the user can view the PAN data in the clear. The account number is obfuscated and masked. The application takes the content and sends the data where they need to go. If the application were to do this, it would have to, it would be a very onerous task and it would be challenging. Um, all the different demand sets that would have to be encrypted, all the different data that would have to be encrypted, it would just, it would be overwhelming for the application. So the application no longer has the onerous task with MagTech of just of doing this and it's handled by the third party gateway instead, like Magenta Payment Protection Gateway and the Magenta Decrypt and Forward Services. The application only needs to communicate with the gateway and sends the command sets. The heavy lifting is done by the gateway and not the actual application. And also this helps reduce PCI scope. Okay. Okay, all these attributes, they make sense and they clearly have value, but how does MagTech counter that cost challenge? Right. So first with reliable and versatile hardware, um, that's securing the account data. MagTech secure card reader authenticators come with that encryption and authentication and tokenization capability standard. These devices are built to work with our Magenta Payment Protection Gateway and Magenta Decrypt and Forward Services that are already L3 certified through Magenta to most major US processors. So this saves time to market and the costs and just speeds the whole process. Speaking of process and procedure, we also have to talk about certification and the commands and data, the backlog, 
and the layers of certification and compliance. Okay, everyone knows certification is important and necessary, uh, but what makes general certification so complex? Right, so there are a couple key things that are happening in the marketplace right now. One of them um, is that since there's so many people wanting to add EMV or mobility and update their applications to also accept things like mobile wallets and contactless payments, et cetera, there's a huge backlog at the audit companies themselves. They just don't have the manpower to be able to go through all the certifications that need to happen. Some have up to uh, three to six month backlogs. So even if you get your application updated and you're ready to go, you may have to wait up to a half a year. Some of our partners use our certifications to get their application launched with a plan to get their own certifications later um, so that when they move up on that list, right? Um, sometimes they choose to just stay with us if that works with their business model. But that's one of uh, the key items of making it so complex. Another one, obviously, is just the layers of certification. Um, you're no longer just dealing with MagStripe data. You have PCI, you have EMV, you have P2P e certifications as well. And whether you're a big box shop or a mom and pop, you will need to meet the different requirements, um, whether you accept Visa, MasterCard, gift cards, or want to have um, loyalty cards as well, reward cards, those each have their own level of different requirements, compliance, and certification. Okay. Okay, so there are a lot of layers to general certifications, but EMV certification seems like it should be more targeted. What makes EMV certification so complex? So there are literally hundreds of tests that need to be run to check the command and data sets that come through each EMV transaction. So each card brand has its own set of data um, and adding gift cards adds additional ones. So each card brand has their own um, Visa, MasterCard, et cetera. They all have these full data sets that need to be run and tested. Um, and then you have the added um, need of going to the different processors as well. So quite literally, you will need to um, test and organize hundreds of different commands. You have to deal with the tags, the cap K, the firmware, and the kernels in the different hardware devices. Okay. So there's a lot more DMV certification than you think, at least that I thought. Um, so then what, what are the levels then of EMZ, EMV certification? Right. So there are three basic um, levels of EMV certification. And to make it really, really simplify, there's more to it, of course, um, but to really simplify, EMV level one is basically oops, where you go from the um, hardware, the card to the hardware, right? EMV level two is where you're going from the hardware to the payment application. These are typically handled by the manufacturer of the hardware device, and AVARs already meet L1 and L2 certification. L3 is where you're taking that information from the application and sending it where it needs to go. So L3 is an end-to-end -end certification between the merchant and the brand, or essentially between the payment application and the processor. So that's where things get a lot trickier is with L3 certification when you're determining the different data that needs to go to the different locations. Um, some of our merchants have, you know, some merchants out there have seven or more different processors. So you need to be able to direct the application to figure out all of the different data that needs to go to all those different locations. And if this is the case, that puts uh, the onus on the ISV, the bar, and the merchant service provider to get all of that information where it needs to go. Having things like open APIs um, make e you know integration a lot easier and are critical to adding EMV acceptance. Okay. All right. Well, since we're talking about certifications, I have to ask, how does MagTech help with PCI scope? So PCI requires an audit of the system under test to be checked and I shouldn't use the word certified, really put made sure that it's in compliance. We won't spend too much time on PCI because that could be its own webinar. However, I would be remiss to not mention uh, that MagTech can assist you with a pre-filled SAQD audit guide 
if you need one for seeing if you're meeting PCI compliance. So um, MagTech knows the industry. We know how to work with PCI. We know what the necessary requirements are, and we can help you reduce your PCI scope and even help you um, with an audit guide. All right. Okay, well, MagTech clearly has a strong grasp of the certification process, which is definitely a challenge, which leads me to ask, how do MagTech and Magenta help make certification easier? Right. So basically, our certifications can bridge your certifications, right? MagTech's Magenta Gateway Services Solutions already have L3 um, certifications with most major processors. Our hardware is built to work with our gateway solutions. We offer open APIs that are available online for free. And we also have remote services. Uh, so if you have a you know, client who's changed processors and they need to update their keys or they need to update some configuration settings, you can use MagTech and Magenta's remote services to update the hardware. So you're not sending it back to the factory. Um, basically, MagTech and Magenta have just really worked hard to make sure that we have reduced um, you know, the, the onerous task put on everybody else by building up our own secure foundational base. And in fact, that brings us uh, to our summary uh, to discuss um, you know, how MagTech and Magenta have helped help you with the complexity and cost of certification. And hopefully um, you've learned um, how we build hardware that helps with um, meeting these uh, different issues and complex things with adding EMV and mobility. Um, MagTech Hardware and Magenta Data Management Services combine to help ISVs overcome the three critical challenges in mobile payment application development with EMV card acceptance. And this allows ISVs to start adding um, applications that allow for delivery, curbside, takeout, line busting solutions, pay at the table, you know, pay table side, um, all those different things that are just um, really hitting the marketplace and that people really are expecting to have as a service. Um, I hope this has been beneficial to you. Please reach out to a sales representative to learn how you can get started with your development. Um, everything is on magtech.com with our APIs and um, full manuals. And Chris, I wanted to thank you again for um, helping guide me uh, through this presentation and asking some great critical questions. I hope have answered some things for our ISV customers. Too. Thank you, Rebecca.